it. Alright, I think we should be back now. Had a weird disconnect issue, had to restart everything. Yeah, it seems to be happening like every single stream now, Val. It's really weird. I reset the the router and everything and restarted my computer and that seems to have fixed it, so I don't know. Okay, I think this is the dude I'm looking for. Okay, the door's locked. Hey, what's up, David? Welcome back. We are so back. So back. If I can pick the lock, jeez. I need to upgrade my lock pick, don't I? Because this is ridiculous. There we go, finally. You know this guy has a problem because he lives at the bottom of a casino. Who are you? What are you doing down here? Your pretty boy Lloyd? Maybe, who are you? Dispense with the BS, Lloyd. I'm here for the money you stole from Mr. Salvatore. Or... Hand over the cash and I might forget I ever saw you until you're far away from here. Mr. Salvatore sent me here to get his money back and have me make an example of you. Doesn't need to be that way if the two of us can come to an arrangement. Yeah, thanks Val, I appreciate it. Thank you for joining in everyone. We are playing some Fallout 2. I am in the middle of the game. I don't know exactly how far, but I think I'm around halfway, give or take, roughly. Yeah, I'm thinking be ruthless, right? Let's just let's just tell him. All right, all right. It's on the Golgotha Plains south of Reno, buried in one of the what? How random! He buried the money. Who even does that? Only I know where it is. It's only a thousand caps. It'd make more sense if it was like 10,000. Okay. That's the biggest load of, oh, whatever. I'm just going to kill you and find the cash on my own. <laughs> okay, show me. Yeah, Jell, this is the Tancher Brown Scarf guy. Sorry, uh, my stream disconnected, so you didn't miss very much. This is Fallout 2. All right, then. Seems I got no choice. Let's go. All right, let's do it. I don't believe him. I'm pretty sure this is a trap. Here we are. Woo, the money's in uh, this grave here. Okay. Dig it up. Uh, there's two types of people in this world, Lloyd. Those with loaded guns and those that dig. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. He mumbles under his breath, then proceeds to dig carefully. Less than a minute later, he pulls out a landmine from beneath the dirt and sets it aside. He shrugs sheepishly. Nice one, Lloyd. Keep digging. Let's see what else is under there. Yeah, that happens almost every time, Summel. I stream for like 30 to 45 minutes. My stream gets disconnected for no reason. I restart the stream and the viewer count skyrockets. So I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll with it. How's everybody doing? We're playing some Fallout 2. Oh, let me restart Tickfinity. I'm sorry. If anyone had followed or anything, I didn't have my alerts on. Alerts are turning back on. Turning back on. And there we go. If we hit either of those goals that you see there on screen, I'll spin the wheel. The wheel has things on it like push-ups and crunches hey fat boy don't question it man don't question it it's all good everyone is exactly where they are supposed to be i'm on the for you page now and now it's plummeting because i mentioned it probably 
Okay, keep digging. Half hour later, Lloyd has dug away enough dirt to reveal a small manhole cover set into the ground. You're certain you wouldn't have found it if Lloyd hadn't told you about it. Yeah. Lloyd takes a deep breath and wipes his forehead. Old fallout shelter. Ooh, that's interesting. Let me open this up and we'll get down to business. No, he's going to open it. I'm not going to open it. Opens with a rusty shriek, revealing a dark hole. Yeah, I jinxed it, I know. I should not have acknowledged chat mentioning it. That was my mistake. Get in there, Lloyd. Lloyd frowns, thinks about making a comment, then shrugs and climbs down into the manhole. Hey, Lloyd, catch. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay, fat boy. Should I drop the landmine on him? I think I'm going to. That's funny. But what if I don't get the money? You get, you guys want me to drop it? Drop it? I think I'm going to drop it. <laughs> All in a day's work. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It says I lost five karma, but that's fine. That's funny. All right, let's climb down there now. Oh, I can't? Hold on. Is it all gone now? Well, I'm gonna go back and kill that guy anyway, right? I don't need to, I don't need the money. Yeah, okay, whatever. I don't need the cash. Let's get out of here. Uh, where... Where's the exit? Oh, there it is. The money is still down there. How do I get down there? Oh, I have to use a rope, don't I? I'm stupid. I should have known. Come on. I know I have a rope somewhere. There it is. Okay. No? There's a ladder. Where's the ladder? I don't believe you. All right, then. I believe you. Yeah, we're playing Fallout 2. No one, no one clipped that. No one clipped that. That never happened. Hey, thanks for the shares. I appreciate it. Ooh, there is the Oaks. He wasn't lying. That's actually surprising. I thought he was lying this whole time. I guess he wasn't lying. Pretty boy Lloyd. He, he even had some money on him too. Okay, I can't carry all this stuff. Uh, I don't think so, Denture. That doesn't sound familiar. Let me give some of my junk to Vic. Here, you can have these Jimmy hats. Always gotta stay safe. Use protection, etc. Really? That's, I still can't carry that much? Alright, I guess... I'm not using the shotgun right now. I'll just let him hold the shotgun in this random gun. Hey, thanks for all those shares. Oh, now that's too much for him to carry? Man... Thank you for all the shares. Very much appreciated. Yep. Let me get... I'm gonna give him another shotgun. Do I have any shotgun shells that I can give to him? What is this? That's a sawed off shotgun. That's a regular shotgun. 
Because he already has a combat shotgun, doesn't he? I'm pretty sure he does. Yeah, it's, it's not showing you, but he does. Okay. Yeah, those Jimmy hats were way too heavy. I've heard people talk about Marcus. Is he, like, a, a good follower? Alright. We got the money. Took care of business. I didn't have to waste any ammo on offing that guy. Thank you for all the likes. This looks like an... Oh, I'm stupid. I thought that was the exit. Where is the exit? There we go. Right here. Goris is really good. I've never heard of Goris. I don't think I've... I never even... I haven't been to Broken Hills, have I? I don't think so. He's in Vault 13. Oh, I definitely want to go to Vault 13. I need to make a, make a trip there. Okay, we'll go back to New Reno. Um... I need to go talk to Salvatore. I think maybe he's on 2nd Street. This is Shark Club. I don't know what street Salvatore is on. I don't think he's on this street. I picked the wrong... No, yeah, he is. There we go. Let's go turn in this mission. Get some money and XP. Glingle Mink is excellent. <laughs> he doesn't exist. He had that guy in his RV, I know, right? Oh, he doesn't... I can't even go in there? Yeah, I found Lloyd. Well, all right then. Go tell Mr. Salvatore what you found. Oh, really? Is that what I should do? Thanks, Mason. Without you, I wouldn't even know how to get from place to place. Sheesh, idiot. <laughs> uh, yep, I said that. Oh, I almost became a fluffer, Grizzled. I almost did. I, I picked the dialogue option not knowing what it was. I backed out of that decision real quick. Have you disposed of the thief? Yep. Sure did. It's going pretty good, Tie-Dye. How are you doing? By accident, yeah. yeah. By accident. Uh, let me check something. Is okay now. Everything should, everything should be good. I think all the alerts are back working. So I think we should have follower alerts and all that good stuff working again. Yeah, the trackers are up. Cool. And the money has it been recovered? Yes, it has. I don't know what that is, Ultra. This is my first time playing. I'll take the money now. This is the correct amount, 1,000 chips. The remaining half is yours. Oh, I got to keep half because I was honest. <laughs> oh, there we go. I have another matter that requires your attention. That's cool, Ultra. I'm interested. What's up? A constituent in my district has not paid me tribute for the services I provide. Collect it. If he objects, inform him you are my representative in the matter. Talk to Mason for the details. All right. Classics are excellent, Denture. Denture Adventure. Really enjoying them. As of now, if I had to pick between Fallout 1 or 2, I might honestly pick Fallout 1. Just because I've seen the full story and I loved the ending. And I liked the pacing and how like concise and condensed it was. 
Um, but I could see Fallout 2 becoming even better as I continue to play it. I just, you know, obviously have not finished it yet, so it's hard to say. Thank you for those likes. You're going to be a one-man collection agency. Drill simple. Visit Renesco's Pharmacy on Commercial Row. Collect the tribute, 1,000 chips, then bring it back. I beat Fallout 1 in about 18 or 20 hours, roughly. I think typically it takes people less time, but when you're playing on stream, you're constantly getting distracted and talking and stuff. Hey, thanks, Amol. Do you mind me asking why you say that? Always looking for critique, ways to improve. You know what? I wasn't even paying it. See, that's a good example. I wasn't actually paying attention on where I need to go. Let me see if you can tell me again. Uh, where was I supposed to collect? Renesco's Pharmacy on the west side. Okay. Renesco's Pharmacy. Commercial Road. Got it. Can someone ban Joe? <laughs> Oh, I made him mad. Dang it. <laughs> oh, I made him mad. And I haven't saved. <laughs> dang it. Ah, oh, dang it. Let's go. Got to reload here. Oh, man. All right, we're going to speed run the Lloyd conversation this time. <laughs> we're, we're, we're speed running. <laughs> oh, gosh. How many hours in am I, Tingus? Oh, that's a good... I don't even know. That's a good question. Maybe around 20, I guess? Roughly? Come on, Tim. Let's go, Tim Fallout. There it is. I got it, then locked it. Yep, I, I noticed that. <laughs> You're pretty boy Lloyd. I'm here for the money. Hey, thanks, I'm all. I appreciate it, man. It's very kind of you. Show me. I'm right behind you. Okay, so for those that missed it, we're gonna redo this interaction. I'm gonna make him dig it up. Yeah, critique's always helpful. I'm always tweaking things and looking for ways to improve. If anyone has any feedback on my layout, let me know. Um, whenever people donate, it shows a leaderboard here of the top three in this giant gap of space. And then at the bottom of the stream, there's little characters that pop up and walk around that represent the, the leaders of the donations. Um, I have lots of alerts for follows, for donations, for subscribers, all that good stuff. Okay, there's two types of people in the world. Those with guns, those that dig. Keep digging. Uh, open the manhole. Thanks for the rupees, David Dillman. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you, David. Yeah, there's a good example, see? <laughs> okay, now you get in there, Lloyd. Lloyd, catch! There we go. Murdered Mr. Lloyd again. Now we'll go down here. Grab the money. Then I'm going to have to go shuffle my inventory around. Because I need to sell. Give him a bunch of junk and stuff. Give him that, give him that. I think he can hold all that. Oh, you suck. Okay. Okay, he can take that. I think I need to give Cassidy the shotgun. Really? Get out of the way. What's up? You got that. Alright, now I can give him the shotgun. Maybe I'll give, I'll give you some beer too, you know, take the edge off a little bit. All 
All right, now we're gonna save it. This is the part where I am responsible and I save my game. And then we check the body, we loot the body, then we go up the ladder. Speedruns of this game must be very interesting. <laughs> the car too. Oh, I see your typo, yeah. Your cat's extended warranty. Could you imagine how competitive car insurance sales would be in the world of Fallout? I'm, I'm the only person in the universe that has a car. That would be the most competitive field of sales ever. I've never played Commandos. Those games are like... Are they kind of like Jagged Alliance? That's what I'm imagining, but I don't know if that's actually accurate. Yeah, there's probably tons of glitches. You're right. You're right. You're right. Insured against super mutant attacks. Yeah. Yeah, I guess there were just no car insurance salesmen in the apocalypse. Yeah, I found Lloyd. Oh, really? Is that what should I do? Durr. All right. I hate Mason. I don't like this guy. <clears throat> yeah, choosing for life. This game would would do really well with the remaster. I feel like there are multiple directions they could take it. I'm just gonna skip through this because I've already done this conversation, and I had to reload my save. Okay. Now we are precisely at the point I was at before I messed up. So we're going to save here. This is our new master save point. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious about why they haven't brought back the concept of cars. I wonder if the next Fallout game will have vehicles, though, because Starfield, obviously, ships... You know, spaceships were a major part of that game. Um, there's a lot of rumors that sailing will be heavily featured in the next Elder Scrolls. So I'm imagining they'll carry that system forward and have cars or something similar in Fallout 6. Is my guess. Yeah, I'm opening a can of worms. That's fine. Engagement, baby. All right. Thanks, Mason. What if you could piggyback ride on a super mutant? What about that? Did you ever think of that? Grant that Fallout? That would be wild. Did anyone ever play? It's an obscure PC MMO called Fallen Earth. It's a lot like Fallout. It's like a post-apocalypse. But it's a true MMO. It's not like 76. Okay, we need to go to the commercial district and go to the pharmacy. That's where we're headed. Brittany, thank you for joining. Bastion, Tyler, thank you everybody for scrolling through. I'm guessing the For You page has, is being kind to me again. I see some unfamiliar names popping up on the joined list. New Reno Arms. Ooh, that sounds... Yeah, that sounds good. Super mutant, mutant Brute Follower who can ride on the shoulder of a parrot. That's incredibly specific. I can see a train. Brahmin Wagons. Yep, Brahmin Wagons could be interesting. I could see that. I could see that for sure. What if you could just ride on a nuke? You launch it, and you can just use that as fast travel to go from one area to the next. It makes sense. They could figure out a way to have that make sense. Welcome, mister. Eldridge is the name. You in the market for some iron to fill that holster of yours? I imagine that's what he sounds like, but I don't know. Liberty Prime shoulder like a parrot. Oh, that'd be perfect. Children of Adam travel. 
I'm probably not going to, Bastion. I'm going to play the Xbox Series X version. Yes, I am, Fatboy. I intend to do all the major DLC. Um, I don't know if I'll do any side, mini side quests in the base games. Um, like, non-essential side quests, if that makes sense. Okay, this guy has zero caps. How is that possible? I'll be playing on Series X for the later games. Because they have FPS boosting and upscaling already built in. This guy has tons of ammo and guns, but no caps. Or chips, or whatever they want to call it. F and f should, should I get this gun? Is this a good gun? I need chat's feedback here. Is that a good gun? I feel like it's a good gun. It looks, it looks powerful. What about that Magnum revolver? Bean Sprout, you know things. They're just not helpful for gameplay related questions. <laughs> Your presence is still highly, highly beneficial to the vibe. I don't know what kind of ammo I need. You know it looks cool? Yeah, I agree. It definitely does look cool. Revolvers are cool. We can agree there. Is that a Tommy gun? That is a Tommy gun. Leather Armor Mark II. That is worth 2,000... Oh my goodness. Is that better than what I have on now? Does anyone know? <clears throat> Let's see. What, what am I wearing right now? Being a ghoul would be cool, and that's exactly why in Brotherhood of Steel I'm considering playing as the ghoul character. Even though it's a melee character and I don't really want to do that. Okay. Right now I've got the combat leather jacket. It only weighs 7 pounds. But my armor class is 28. So that's pretty, pretty legit. That's pretty, pretty awesome. I've got a lot of guns that I could swap. So I've got this shotgun I don't need. I've got this shovel. I don't need this jerky. Um, I don't need these empty syringes, I don't think. Maybe I should keep two just in case. You never know. Oh, yeah. Unload the weapons. Yep. Good. Good call. Can I do that from here? Yes, I can. Thank you, David. I like the Desert Eagle, I just didn't have enough bullets for it. It's a 44, so maybe I could buy some bullets. This is an extra SMG. Okay, so I can unload that. I don't need the extra SMG. What else we got going on here? This is the assault rifle. I don't have many bullets for it, but I do like the gun. Let's see. Another extra SMG. I didn't realize I had so many of these things. An, an extra Desert Eagle? Is that an extra assault rifle? No, it's not. Okay. I was like, dang, man. This looks like makeup. It is. <laughs> is there any reason to keep the makeup? Can I use that for a disguise or something at some point? Is that a thing? McBooch, my honest opinion is the game starts out very slow. Uh, it's very clunky and very old, obviously. Um, but the writing is incredible. The characters are fantastic, and I really like the world building and atmosphere a lot. And I wish um, the more recent Fallout games had this type of atmosphere. I think I'll keep the makeup just in case, because it's really light anyway, right? Okay, maybe, maybe I should keep this shotgun just in case, and then sell the sh the sawed-off shotgun. Wait, did I, did I do that correctly? I did. Dang, four thousand. This is all worth four thousand. That's crazy. Um, I feel like my inventory is just loaded with junk that I don't need, but I also don't feel like going through all of it right now. 
Yeah, I, I didn't like the start. I don't really like the fact that I started as a tribal guy. To be honest with you, I, I was not a fan of that. It's kind of weird. Um, that takes 5 mil, and then this takes 44. Hang on, I am... I'm so lost right now. There is so much inventory junk to go through. I have another SMG that's extra? Why don't I remember picking that up? And I have two Desert Eagles? Okay. All right, I don't think he has enough stuff to warrant this much. Okay, so I need 44 ammo. What is this? That's 14. What is this? There we go. This is for the assault rifle, right? 223. No, the assault rifle is 5 mil. What the heck does 5 mil look like? I'm so lost right now. 762, 223. Do I have any 5 mil? Oh, it's the one that's in the box. Okay. Buy all the ammo. But he doesn't even have any 5 mil. That's the one that I really want. No, I haven't been to Vault 8. Unload his assault rifle? Who is his assault rifle? Um, 14 mil. So is the, is the FAL good? If... Yeah, I'm noticing that, Vincent. I haven't found any since I got the assault rifle. The vendor. So should I get this gun? Because this gun uses... 7.62. I feel like that's... That's a very expensive gun. That must be pretty good. Thanks for following. You're a legend, Gerald Dude. Yo, Gerald, man, what's up? Seven. Do, does he even have ammo for the gun that he's selling? What a bunch of garbage. He's selling a gun but doesn't have any ammo for it? Are you kidding me? That's stupid. I'm not going to buy it. He has 44, though. Yeah, I figured that was you, Sean. Do you want me to just call you Sean? Here's 44. I'm definitely buying all of that for my Desert Eagle. Any gun you can loot off someone else later, there's no point in buying one. Yeah. I need to buy the 10 mil for my... SMG and my backup pistol, of course. I mean, should I just go ahead and get all the ammo? Will I need 45 and 223, you think? Hey, Chanel. Thanks for stopping by. You never played a single Fallout game? I don't. Have you played really old PC RPGs like this before, Sean? This game's very slow. It's very, um, it plays like, like a D and D game, like tabletop. I'll get the shotgun ammo. Might not need to buy it. Do I, I don't even have any two, two, three though. That's the thing. I haven't even found any. So I kind of feel like I might want to buy it just based on that, that point. Okay. Um, what can I put back here? This gun? There we go. That almost balances it out. So maybe if I put the 223 back, does that kind of balance it out again? Almost. Almost. I need to put back like a thousand worth. Okay, that's pretty close. 
Um, do I have any other junk I can get rid of? I'd love to play some Diablo sometime. Like the original Diablo. I've actually never beat that game. That'd be really fun. Um, what else can I get rid of? I don't need the day pass anymore, right? Because I'm a citizen of Vault City. So I can toss that. I don't think I need these key cards, but I might as well keep them. I definitely don't need this clipboard anymore. I'll keep the boots just in case. Okay. Yeah, Fallout 1 and 2 are basically just D&D with guns. That's pretty accurate in terms of how they play. Okay, I think this is pretty balanced. I'm just going to go ahead and go with this. I'm getting a ton of ammo. Oh, wait, he can upgrade my guns? Is that what it says? Ooh, should I upgrade anything? Or should I just wait? I think I'll wait. Oh, the ropes. I don't need two ropes on me, do I? Or I guess I can just give both ropes to followers. I don't think I need to keep the ropes on me. I also don't need... I don't need to keep all of this loot on me. In general. Okay, here we go. There's Cassidy. I think he's pretty What's light. What's up? Let's give him the shotgun, the pistol, the other shotgun. I've got my Desert Eagle now. I need to give him the shotgun ammo. Okay, so we'll go with the Desert Eagle and the SMG. That'll be my main, my main weapons for now. Let's reload. Go ahead and reload. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Reload this one. Cool. Yeah, Bastion, that's always the problem, right? Trying to find a consistent group to play with, with any kind of tabletop game or any in-person sort of thing like that. I know that Fallout is based on a tabletop game. What's it called, like GURPS or whatever? I'm really excited to get to Morrowind, Ninja. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. What's my carry weight at now? Okay, I don't have a ton of room. But it's whatever. It is what it is. Yeah, I remember they couldn't use GURPS, but I think that's that was the inspiration, right? Like, that's where the idea came from. So I've never played GURPS, but I wonder if... Oh, here's the pharmacy. Cool. I wonder if if you were to play GURPS, would it feel like you're playing Fallout? Ooh, Trinan. You've invoked the words of Heroes of Might and Magic. Would people watch me stream Heroes of Might and Magic 3? I have not played that game in years, but I love, or I used to love, Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Yo, what's up, Jack? Perfect timing. All right, I'm going to rattle off some some games here. I want to know if there is interest in me playing any of these. What about Super Smash Bros? If I played the subspace emissary from Smash Bros Brawl, do like a single player adventure mode playthrough, that would be cool. Jason says no. What if I were to stream um, something like, you know, Crash Bandicoot? Would there be interest in that? Or Star Fox? What about Star Fox? I'm gonna eventually play Zelda, because I love Zelda. I'm definitely not streaming Fortnite. I'm way too bad to stream that. I think Star Fox would be fun. I've got like every Star Fox game. The old man pushes his broken glasses up on his nose. What about Fantasy Star Online? What about PSO? Do we have any PSO fans in here? I say Fantasy Star Online, but I actually mean offline. I'd play like my GameCube version of the game solo for the nostalgia. That would be fun. 
Deep Rock Galactic is a really cool game, Bastion. I was one of the first people to preview that game back when it first came out. I met with Jack Coffee Stain Studios. Says Vector Man. Ooh, I love Vector Man. Love Vector Man. Yeah, there are private servers, but I don't really feel like doing that, if I'm being honest. I, I would probably just play solo. Okay, who are you? Oh, I'm just Jolly St. Nick, you cranily challenged halfwit. <laughs> yeah, I could, Ty. I'm not really a big fan of PSO2, though, if I'm being honest. If I were going to do an MMO for followers to join up on, I think um, it would be cool to do... I mean, I'm going to do Fallout 76 for sure. I'll probably do ESO whenever I'm playing the Elder Scrolls games. And the other one that really comes to mind would be like Ultima Online, because that's free. And it's a similar like old school hardcore RPG. I think that would be pretty cool. To see if followers wanted to join in Thanks that. for following. You're a legend, K. Hey, thanks, K. I appreciate you following. Okay, let's see. Who are you? Name's Renesco. Just tell me what it is you want. You, well, whatever it is you are. I've played Mortal Online. A long time ago. A long time ago. I'm from a village to the northwest, Arroyo. Club Penguin. Oh, I remember Club Penguin. I'll have to look that up, Bastion. Feel free to DM me so I don't forget. It's a peaceful village, except for the plants possessed by evil spirits, and of course, the Temple of Trials filled with those deadly spear traps and the man-eating giant ants. Have you heard of a Gek? Comes with a basic replicator unit, holodisc reader with selections from the Library of Congress, and a little pin flashlight. Yes! It sure could do that, easy, if you could find one. Don't even know where you'd start looking. NCR or Vault City, maybe, but I doubt they'd have one still. Yeah, I've already been to Vault City. I haven't been to NCR yet. Why would the Gek not be in Sacred Vault 13? The scriptures say that the Gek is sealed within. I had some other questions. Um, what do you sell here? Recreational drugs, mostly. That's why they gave me that idiotic appellation, the Rocket Man. Average nobody, thank you for stopping by. How's it going? Um, let's see. You can sell drugs here in the store? Yes, in the store. This isn't the 20th century where drugs are sold by street corner cockroaches who live in constant fear of the authorities. Well then. This is New Reno. There are no cops, no law, and there's plenty of customers who don't mind buying poison at the pharmacy down the street. Alright. I have more questions. I'm here to collect Mr. Salvatore's tribute. Then he wasted a trip. I paid Mr. Salvatore his tribute two weeks ago as per the schedule. I don't know who you are or what you think you're doing, but you aren't getting one red chip from me. Hmm. Trade loot for stems. Yeah, because stems are extremely expensive. I guess I should check if he has any. What's that? That's Psycho. Yeah, he does. And he has a super. How much is a super? Thanks stem for pack? following. You're a legend, Jed the Sheep. Jeb, thank you for the follow. Oh, there we go. That's the money right there. Yep. Going all in on this. Where, where are the guns at that I don't need anymore? Oh, I gave them to all my followers. Oh my gosh. I offloaded all my weapons that I don't need. So hang on. 
You will give me the tribute I've asked for and you will do so now. I said I paid the tribute already two weeks ago. If you were really from Salvatore, you would know that. I didn't see any caps or he didn't have very many. You're the one who has lost your hearing. I'm Mr. Salvatore's representative and you will pay the tribute. Okay, I'm gonna check and then I'll be back. Okay. What's up? Let's you go got... trade with Cassidy. Let's see. He doesn't need that gun. 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 Can I even hold all of this? Oh, I can. Okay. And he still has his combat shotgun, right? He does. Okay, he's still good. I need to give him more shotgun shells, though. Yep. There we go. Or let's... I'll save some for myself, just in case. That's it for now. Alright. Let's save real quick. Uh, now let's barter. Hey, thanks, science class. It's all for show. I actually hate this game. This is all just an elaborate performance to test how gullible stream viewers are on TikTok. I'm so miserable right now. It's a wonderful performance. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, let's go. I think that, that looks good. Oh, wait, does he have any caps? Ooh, he does. There we go. Now, look at that. It's almost perfectly balanced. Look at that. Look at the math on this one. All right. I mathed that so hard. Oscar-worthy acting. Yeah, thanks. All right, never mind. What do you guys think? Should I go check with Mr. Salvatore, or should I press this guy even more and see see what I can do with them let's do a quick poll here in the chat real quick let's do um, if you want me to push him and potentially fight the guy do a smiley face if I should go check with my boss do a cry face smiley face means fight the guy be aggressive cry face means go run to boss daddy and see if it's okay green bean this is fallout 2 also known as Fallout 4 and Minus 2. Alright, Bastion's the only one that said I, I should go run to Boss Daddy. Everyone else says I should just be aggressive. Any other votes? We kind of stalled out here. Okay, I'm going to try not to fight him. But I guess I'll be aggressive. Alright. Let's see what happens. I've saved. I'll save again just to be sure. He has dogs in the back. Man, spoilers. No, it's okay. Dungeon Keeper 2? I've never played Dungeon Keeper. Why do you suggest the second one instead of the first one? Alright. I've come to collect the tribute, bro. Okay. Okay. Cough up the chips or you'll be coughing up blood. Okay, now you'll give me the money. Hand over the chips. Get out of here. You show your face in here again, I'll shoot you myself. Alright, I'm going to check and come back. What kind of game is Dungeon Keeper? Is that the one that is like a base management game, like a tower defense, but you're like an evil overlord? Or am I getting that confused with something else? Bastion, I think I like them being a more prominent force, like they are in the newer games. Uh, where was he at again? Oh, he was at Salvatore's. I ran... I, okay, I almost walked right past it.
I'll have to add it to my wish list on GOG or Steam and see if it goes on sale or something. I'll tell you what, Trinan, if you subscribe, I'll add that to my um, my request list for sure. Neo Jalapeno, yes. Follow Tactics is next after I finish this game. Um, Renesco's giving me, uh, says that he gave it two weeks ago and he shouldn't have to pay for another month. So what? You tell him who you at, who you work for? Yep. And did you show him who you worked for? Show him. I gotta hold your hand, easiest thing in the world. And you come crying to me. Mason. Mason. So and so ain't paying his tribute. Grow some balls, boy, and take care of it. You've been a big help. So you can understand. Don't talk to me again until you get that money from Ernesto, or you're gonna make me mad. Bite me. <laughs> I did it again. I couldn't resist. I really don't like this guy. Alright, well... Now, I'd, I saved myself a trip, right? I know that I it's not helpful. So I'm, I'm just going to have... You guys said not to kill this guy? You said I shouldn't kill this guy? So should I just pretend that I got the money? Or... Alright, well, here's here's another choice then. These are, these are the options. These are the options that, that I've been presented with. The, the, these are the two choices that I'm giving myself now. These are the two choices. Should I kill this pharmacist or should I kill Mr. Salvatore? Smiley face, kill the pharmacist. Crying face, kill the Salvatore guys. Those are the two options I'm giving myself. Smiley face, kill the pharmacist. Crying face, kill the Salvatore guys. Because if I kill the Salvatore guys, I fulfill the mission for uh, the Jesus guy. But if I kill the pharmacist, then I can continue getting missions from Salvatore. But I, I think I'm, I'm leaning towards taking out the Salvatore people. Because I don't like them at all. Okay. It looks like that's what chat's agreeing with. That's, that's the way the poll's going. Oh, wait, wait. It's splitting now. Hold on. Hold on, it's almost tied. Zeke Zeke introduced a, a wild card here. Oh no, it's it's split now. Ray Ray made it split. Are we killing the pharmacist happy face or Salvatore cry face? You guys are really gonna make this a fifty fifty result. Really? There we go. There at the last second it came in. There we go. We're, we're, we're killing the Salvatores. It's murder time. I get to kill that Mason guy, so I'm very happy. If I pickpocket his oxygen tank, he'll explode? Are you serious? Why would he explode if I pickpocket his oxygen tank? That doesn't even make sense. All right, well, I'm going to save again. If I could get the first round, that would be great. He will suffocate. Yeah, Loki Heat, I've been back for about an hour. I was only gone for like 10 minutes. For some reason, my internet cut out. Oh, dang it, okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do, go in there and do that first. I can't get in there because I can't get past him. Jack Slattery Kumbi says, I think I missed it. Did you get the car? Yeah, I got the car last stream, Jack. And then it got stolen. But then I got it back. Okay. Let's just give him the money. Oh, because I don't have to give him the money. I give it to Salvatore so I can just lie. Oh, okay. That's right. That's right. That's right. Everyone come inside. 
Now let's close the door. This is Fallout 2. From 1998. Alright, let's save again. Alright, let's get back here in the corner behind the guy. Gotta be very, very sneaky now. There's his oxygen tank. Okay, so now what? I, I took his oxygen tank. I'm not very good at RTS games, Jack, but I have played them before. So just wait. Oh, wait. It says dot dot dot. What does that mean? I, I want to see it. <laughs> oh, he's he's coughing. He's wheezing. Bastion, I'm not. I'm not going to play the first Wastelands. It got a remaster with some better sprites and visuals, but that game looks a little bit too archaic for me. I don't think I I don't even think I could get through that one. Just a little bit too tedious. Wasteland 2 and 3 though, I would like to play sometime. He's slowly dying everybody. I took his oxygen tank away and now he's Slowly, slowly dying. Stops breathing. He's still standing. Rip. <laughs> My guy, look, he says, hey, 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 I love killing old people. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Uh, that's, a th that's a thing that happened, I guess. You're a liar. Why, why would he have exploded? That doesn't even make sense. Dang, look at all this. <gasps> Laser pistol. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We got a laser pistol, boys and girls. Lads and ladies, we are... We are so ready now. That was the correct way to handle that situation. Even though he didn't explode, thank you, Andrew, for the suggestion. Thanks for the rupees, KUR. Oh, how does he know? Hey, thank you for the rose. Alright, he missed, so uh let's see here. My energy weapon skill is too low. I forgot. Okay. Twenty. Nice. What is Lenny? Why did Lenny punch him? Why are they all punching? I'm so confused right now. There we go. There we go. Now, okay. As it always says, everyone up top has metal armor to tank. I've never played um, played any of the Xeno Xeno games at all. I've always wanted to. Thirty-five health left. Um, maybe I should go for an eye shot. No, it's only forty-one percent. Okay, I think what we're gonna do is let's heal first. And I can also put stim packs where my laser pistol is because I can't use that gun yet. I'm stupid. Okay. 
Then we're gonna burst. Still not dead? Nope. Yeah, they have ammo, Adrian. You can see them all shooting now. I'm out of ammo, so let's reload. This should kill him, this spare shot here. There we go. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. You said load game? Why would I load game? Uh, Bastion, I feel like they have to do both. They can't just do one of them. That'd be really weird. There we go. Nice, nice. I never got Tycho because of, uh, the Junktown Massacre of 2024 that we do not talk about. No, nobody, no, no one talks about, about Junktown. Well, Larian Remaster would be really cool. That'd be perfect. That's not worth it then. Do I know who Myron is? I don't think so. That doesn't sound familiar. There we go. 21. 21 points of damage on that guy. He's only he's got 41 left. This guy's got 35 left. Okay, so they're both almost dead. I think a remaster or a remake is probably out of the question and very unlikely, but I th it would be great to get a port. Like a cleaned up port like they did with Baldur's Gate and Icewind Dale. I'd be all about that. That'd be very cool. Neo Jalapeno, I already got it back last stream. There we go. Exploded. Uh, Schwombus, I'm just using the Restoration Project mod. These are original graphics. It looks, it looks especially nice on the stream, I think because I'm playing at the 640 by 480 resolution windowed and that compresses it down onto your phone screen so that, you know, the sprites are nice and big, which I think is um, the best way to play it when streaming like on TikTok. I don't really personally like watching streams on TikTok of games that are at like HD full like widescreen resolution personally. It looks strange to me because you have to either crop the footage or zoom in or have the box be tiny. Twenty one health left, okay. Thanks for following. You're a legend. Thank you, Sam. Sam. Trinan, I think it's possible. He's been very outspoken that he loves and appreciates these games. I mean, they wouldn't have been interested in the IP if they weren't fans of these games, you know? Dang it. Okay. I've got to juggle my inventory around again. That's exactly what I did, NorCal. That's exactly what I did. Precisely. Okay, you can take these. Oh, here's the oxygen tank. Yeah, it's right there in my inventory still. Um, I don't need the gloves. Um, take the shotgun and the shotgun shells. Go ahead. Um, the rifle and its 
Okay, that's probably that's probably good for now. That's cool. This is my first playthrough. Okay, can I take that now? Yes, I can. And Thanks for following. You're a legend, Norkel. Hey, thank you for following. Ooh, mirrored shades. Dang, man. There, I'm getting so much loot from this place, though. If Thanks I can... for following. You're a legend, Tay. Thank you for following, Tay. If I can ever find a merchant with enough money to sell this stuff to, I'll be so set. I said noise says if you put the shades in an inventory slot, you get plus one charisma special. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, my charisma is six. Um, let's see how much more. I've got almost 4,000 right now. I don't think he can hold much more. Nope, Lenny's, Lenny's pretty much tapped out. That'd be so cool if they made another fallout like this, Mind of Evil. I appreciate that charisma is actually useful in this game. Personally. What's up? You got that I need... Okay, can you take this stuff? Please? Yeah. Oh, and metal armor! I can have him wear the metal armor, right? It's probably better. Yeah, look at that dude. Now he's... He is ready. I love it. Oh yeah, that answers your question right there. There's Cassidy. Does he have any metal armor? Vic can keep a leather jacket. I don't really care if he <laughs> gets unalived. Uh, if I'm, if I'm being, if I'm being truthful. North Cal, it's because I like Lenny a lot. I've got Lenny, Vic, and Cassidy. Those are my my three followers. There's the other metal armor. Let's see. I'll give it to Lenny. Vic's just kind of annoying. I don't really like Vic. To be honest. I'm not a fan of his character. Why do I keep doing that? I want to do combat control. Let's put on best armor. I have a ghoul wearing metal armor with a pipe rifle now. Oh, he can use a shotgun too? What do you guys think? Should I give him a shotgun? Him and Cassidy both have shotguns if that's what I'm going to do. Or should I make him use a rifle? The pipe rifle. I feel like a shotgun would be an upgrade. Do I even have shotgun shells to give him? He has 18. That's not very many. That's fine. That's fine for now. Okay, how much more loot can this guy hold? I have so many en energy cells now. This is crazy. Take that knife. Um, you can take this assault rifle. Can you hold it? Yes, you can. Um, I don't. Ha I I did not give him any bullets for the assault rifle, so hope he shouldn't be able to use it. Yeah, I went to the gun store earlier and I bought like all their ammo. Thanks for following. You're a legend, Mind of Evil. Hey, Mind of Evil. Thank you for following. Nice. I don't care about that. It doesn't even sell for very much. I'll take this. Definitely going to take the electronics book. Ooh, perfect. 
There we go. Excellent. Okay, let's read the book. I learned a lot about repairing broken electronics. Perfect. How much did it go up by? 40%? I don't know which one went up, but... It helped. Whatever it was, it helped. Okay, where's Lenny? Here he is. What's up? Nope, you got not yet. Um... Oh, check the desk too? Oh. Dang. Thank you for telling me about the desk. Holy crap. Look at that. I guess I'll just take everything, sure. All right. Let's give him that new ammo that I got. Can you hold this too? And what about this? What about this? Nope, okay. Um, what about that? Nice, all right. It is gonna take me roughly 14,000 hours to sell all of the loot that I have interspersed between all of my different companions. I can't even imagine how long it's gonna take me to sift through all this to try to sell it. Oh, everyone's, oh, I didn't realize everyone was gonna be attacking me now. I guess I should have, I should have figured. The, I didn't save after that, all that fighting. <laughs> oh, no. oh, okay, well I can save here at least so I can redo this fight if I need to. How much health do these people have? They have a lot, don't they? Oh, he only has 70. 70. Okay. 70. Oh, these people aren't that bad. Come on, man. Get a little closer. Whoa. There we go. Yeah, buddy. There's Cassidy coming in clutch. You need a tutorial? There's some good tutorials on YouTube. It's not an RTS game, Ethan. It's a it's turn-based. So when you're in combat, everyone takes turns. And it's, um, it does like uh, the player phase and then the enemy phase. And you use, see these green dots here? These are your action points. See how it says it'll take six action points to burst fire this SMG, but only five to single shot it? Or six to single shot with vats? See, I can target body parts. Or burst to six. So it, like, it depends on what you wanna do. And then moving, see the number that pops up there is how many points it takes to move. Now it's their turn, see? All right, he hit me. My guy shot him. He's reloading. Then he shot and missed. Then he shot and hit my friend by accident. Then he shot and hit me. And there you go, now it's my turn again. So I get to kind of pick and choose what I want to do. Load. Favorite character? I like Harold a lot. Harold is pretty interesting. Um, I really like the master at the end of Fallout 1. Thankfully, they all suck at aiming. I don't think he died. He just got knocked down. Dude. He keeps hitting Cassidy. Can I get him to move? How much health? He has 32 health. He has 26 health. Okay, so let's keep shooting at this guy. 
Okay, he's only got like six health left. Hey, what's up, Sergio? Yeah, I could have gone for the eye shot, but he had a lot of health left, so I didn't really want to. Lenny, please. Please, Lenny. Oh my god. Lenny keeps shooting Cassidy in the back, and he won't move. How can I get him to move? Um, he has 9 health left. This guy has 19, so we'll go for this one. I should be able to get this in a single shot. Oh my god, of course I missed. Missed Thanks twice in a row. Following. You're a legend, Rift. Come on, Lenny. Please don't hit Cassidy. Nice. Alright. There we go. Let's obliterate that guy real quick. And we'll heal up. I had 80% chance to hit him last turn, and I missed two times in a row. That math is not mathin'. That does not make sense. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of loot here, and I have nowhere to put it or sell it. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Okay, so let's... move here oh I can store in my car I forgot I could store stuff in my car I could go run drop off junk in my car and then come back Nice. There we go. Good, good. Not good. Can I use this? No, I can't use that in combat. Um, let's use some healing powder. Because the stim packs are super expensive. Maybe that's enough. RJ, it really just depends. Do you have you ever played old um, like top-down, slow-paced, turn-based games like this before? Okay, I guess this guy. Dang! Really? Okay, I think this is the only hostile one left. Have you ever played um, Baldur's Gate 3? That's a relatively new game that has sort of similar gameplay-ish. Alright. Let's burst again, baby. Yeah, there's a good chance. I mean, do you have a, a computer? These games can run on pretty much any potato. They're almost 30 years old. And they're very cheap. They're almost always on sale. Okay, well, this could run on a PC for 
that you could get a goodwill, I'm pretty sure, so <laughs> you should be fine. Alright, let's save again. Combat's over. The only thing is, if you do decide to check them out, I would highly recommend looking up some like tutorials and stuff on YouTube because these games are very old. There is no tutorial. There are no tool tips. There are no, you know, guidance. There's none of that stuff. You know, like this is a game that you click new game. It plays the intro and it begins. It does not tell you anything. So if you are unfamiliar with these kinds of games, I highly recommend watching a tutorial. Um, start with Fallout 1. Start with Fallout 1 for sure. The stories are not connected, but um, Fallout 1 is an introduction to the systems. Why can't I loot the bartender? He was back here, but I can't see him. Thanks for the rupees free Domgamer. Ooh, Freedom Gamer, thank you, man. Freedom, thank Thanks you. Thanks for the rupees, Freedom Gamer. Dang, you sent a bunch of controllers, man. Thanks. Thanks for the rupees, Freedom Gamer. Freedom Gamer. That's what I'm going to call you. Thanks for the rupees, Freedom Gamer. Freedom Gamer. Thanks for the rupees, Freedom Gamer. There's so much stuff here now. I didn't really intend on murdering everyone. That's just kind of how it happened, you know? That's how it goes sometimes. That's the way the cookies crumbled. Okay, I can almost loot everything. Yeah, there's no armor. That's weird, right? Yeah, I try to be pretty consistent with my times and stuff. I don't always stream on the days I say I'm going to, but I'm always live around the same time if I do stream. Yeah, it's, it's understandable, RJ. You're you're um, you're younger. You grew up in a generation where. Um, What's up? But how old you did you say you are? Pulling rank. Look again. You're 21, which means when you were born, we already had like, you know, the PS2 and GameCube. Um, so by the time you were old enough to play games, we were already moved on to the PS3 and 360, you know, so that's like your generation. So it's, it's just very different, you know? Oh, I should definitely eject these. I always forget. Empty those clips, baby. Yeah, exactly. There we go. Can you take another one? Yes, you can. Can you take one more? Yes, you can. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff, my friend. Now, let's see. These games are super cheap, though. They're often on sale for like 2 or $3. So if you ever see them on sale on GOG.com or Steam, um, I, I would say it's worth checking out if you really like Fallout. Whoops. But like I said, watch a YouTube video. Because these are not the kind of games. It's 10. See, that's full price. You can often get these games for like 2 or $3. Check GOG.com. They're on sale there a lot. But I think it's totally worth 10 bucks. Definitely think it's worth 10 bucks. Okay, where's my car? It's in the parking lot, right? But not on this tile. It's on a different tile. This is Fallout 2, but Fallout 1 and 2 were released within less than a year of each other. They're the same exact engine, a lot of the same visuals. Um, a lot of the same weapons, the same gameplay. So, if you were to look up videos or footage of Fallout 1, it's going to look basically identical. They came out very, very close to one another. Thanks for following. You're a legend, Randifico. I'm trying to figure out where... 
Let me just go this way. Hey, thanks, Freedom. I appreciate it, man. Is it Virgin Street? It must be Virgin Street. Right? Yeah, yeah, this is the area with the Reno sign. Okay. Here is my car. You finished New Vegas and 3? Yep, this is Fallout 2. I've never played New Vegas. I'm excited to get to that one eventually. Alright, let's send that over. We're gonna store all of this stuff in the trunk of the car. Just one of those. Okay. All the same that I don't need yet. What is this? Needler cartridges? Thanks Definitely don't need that. Thanks for following. You're a legend. Enjoy the trapper. I'll have a hard time on three? I don't think so. I played three when it first came out. I like that game. Fallout three is very good. Yeah, I'm going to play Tactics. And then also there's Brotherhood of Steel. The often forgotten, much maligned Fallout game. Yeah, there's a lot of subways in Fallout 3. That's true. Yeah, I've heard New Vegas is really good. A lot of people love New Vegas. I'm excited for that one. I'm playing them all in release order, so it'll be a little while before I get to it, but it won't be too long. Okay, I think I'm good. All the ammo that I don't need is deposited. I like the DC setting, though. I really appreciated um, having the game set in DC. I thought it was a cool environment. Okay, put my deagle there. Okay, let's talk to Vic and get all the junk from him. Thanks, Freedom. I appreciate it. Everyone should go follow Freedom if you like retro games. Thanks for following. You're a legend, monkey. He streams a lot of a lot of cool retro stuff. And thank you for the follow. Okay, let's. I guess we'll take the scorpion tails from him, too. Why does he have eight scorpion tails? Doesn't even make sense. Oh, they weigh so much, I can't even take them all. Yeah, I like Fallout 4. I never finished it, but I played it when it came out. And I played it a lot. I think I put like 40 or 50 hours into it. I liked it. it I think it has the best gameplay of the, the first person ones. For sure. Right now, I am literally just shuffling my inventories around because of the carry capacity limitations. So, like this follower... Had a bunch of scorpion tails, and I'm shuffling those to get them into the trunk of my car for storage so that he doesn't have to carry them. Because if he carries them, then he can't carry loot. And loot is also quite heavy. I'm going to put all the doctor kits in there. I'll keep the dynamite on me. I don't need all these ropes. I'll store two ropes. I'll store one flare. Follow 5 is not going to come out anytime soon, RJ. That game's at least, at the very least, six years away, I would say. Because the next Elder Scrolls is going to be their next game. And that game, we have not seen or heard anything about it in six years. So I would say the earliest we get Elder Scrolls 6, probably holiday 2026 at the earliest. Which means the next Fallout is not until... 2030 probably and that's being optimistic about it unless Bethesda outsources yep. it to another studio like if they partner with Obsidian again I could see it coming out sooner in that case 
Uh, Brotherhood of Steel is a console exclusive Sunday. It's only on PS2 and Xbox. It's not even on PC. But I do agree that it would be cool if we could get remasters of those old games. Yeah, GTA 6 is going to be really cool. I'm excited for that. Okay, can I take all of this stuff from him? Why does he have caps? He doesn't need caps. Yeah, there we go. It would also be interesting if they partnered with In Exile and let them take a swing at an old school isometric Fallout again. Because In Exile is was founded by Brian Fargo who was the former CEO of Interplay, who were the publisher of Fallout 1 and 2. I have a lot of game history lore in my brain. So if anyone wants to know random bits of game history, I'm your guy. He okay, doesn't need this. He has 240 energy cells. Why does he have so many? Okay. Nice. It would be cool if they remastered three. I am a far, far, far bigger Elder Scrolls fan. I think Fallout's great. I like Fallout. But Elder Scrolls is my jam. The only game series I like more than Elder Scrolls is Zelda. I'm much more of a fantasy nerd, personally. Always have been. So Elder Scrolls has a much, much higher rank on my personal tier list. After I play all of... Oh, I highly, highly disagree with you, RJ. I could not disagree more, in fact. I think Fallout maybe has a more unique universe from a lore perspective. Just if you look back at the histories and origins of those two franchises. Um, but in terms of like actual depth to the lore and characters and events and fleshed out um, lore and storytelling... I definitely disagree, but you know, that's matter of opinion. Yeah, if you look if you look beyond the main storylines of the games, Elder Scrolls lore is incredible. There is so much there, especially if you play Elder Scrolls Online. I mean, those games are crazy. I think like, if you look at the impact, I think it's cool that Fallout could be seen as, like, the birth of the post-apocalyptic video game setting in a lot of ways. Or Wasteland, really. But, um, you know, Wasteland and Fallout really birthed this entire fascination with this sort of setting. So I think that's impressive and cool. But I don't know. I think Elder Scrolls has the beat on the lore, from a lore perspective. I think a lot of people tend to prefer stuff like Fallout because it's based in reality. It's kind of like an alternate reality, and there's a lot of um, there's less um, suspension of disbelief. But um, yeah, like like Meeks, Meeksy says and David says, from a lore built world building lore perspective, I think um, Elder Scrolls absolutely has a beat. But I think Elder Scrolls is, borrows so heavily from things like D&D &D and Lord of the Rings and is generally a traditional fantasy setting. So a lot of people don't give a lot of its storytelling and world building as much credit. But I think the depth is really there if you know where to look and you look past the surface level. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm a huge, huge Elder Scrolls fan. I, I could talk about Elder Scrolls forever. After I play all the Fallout games, I'm playing them all in order. So I played Fallout 1, now I'm on Fallout 2, then Tactics, Brother of Steel, 3, New Vegas, 4. I'm going to do them all in order, all on stream, and then archiving all those playthroughs on my YouTube. And then after that, I'm moving on to Elder Scrolls. And I'm going to start from the beginning with Arena, which is a game I've never beaten. And it came out in, like, what, 1994? 
So it even predates Fallout by like three or four years. I'm gonna have to do a lot of research for my character in Arena and Daggerfall. Because <laughs> those games are hard. I probably will try Battlespire and Redguard, but I don't expect to finish those. Maybe I will. I'll have to, I'll have to wait and see. Those are very, um, very difficult to play games in a lot of ways. I'll have to wait and see. Let me make sure I've saved. Let's overwrite the new, the old main save. There we go. Hey, what's up, Gackman? I just took out Salvatore. After doing a bunch of his missions, I decided to take him and his people out. I don't think I'll ever be pressed for money again with all the loot I have in the trunk of my car now. Let's report back to Mr. Mordino. Salvatore is dead. He is dead. You've done well. My faith in you is not misplaced. Here's your payment. 500 in armor and a weapon you may find useful. Thanks. I'd welcome you into the family. Will you join our family? Your strengths shall be our strengths. This is my first time playing Gakman. I'm liking it a lot so far. Yeah, RJ, New Reno's, it's, it's like a little city. There's, um, you know, crime families, there's casinos, there's some different shops and stuff, and um, it's, a, it's a bit more lawless than other areas. Like, there's not a police force. Drugs are openly sold in stores and pharmacies. So it's definitely not, um, you know, very modernized. It's uh, definitely devolved into chaos in a lot of ways. It, it, it tells you everything you need to know that the background audio for New Reno is gunshots. <laughs> the ambient noise is just gunshots. <laughs> Nick Garcia, yes, I would. I would love that. I think going back to the West Coast would be awesome. Uh, I guess I should join him, right? Thanks for following. You're a legend, chef. Thank you for the follow. I don't really know, RJ. I haven't played most of the Fallout Thanks games. Thanks for following. You're a legend, Xander. I've only finished 1, 3, and 4. The Rockies would be cool. I like to go outside of the U.S. That's what I want to see. I want to see Fallout London. Let me see, like, Fallout Germany. I want to go away from the U.S. That's what I want. Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's join the crime family. But Bethesda could partner with someone else, Gackman. Like they did with New Vegas, right? Obsidian, Bethesda, and In Exile are all owned by Microsoft now. Alright, chat, who well, what should my nickname be that people will call me by? Whisper, Spider. Measle, teacher, or mover. Bull, skipper, shush, lefty, righty. Eyebrows, tornado. Monkey boy, lumpy. Mitts, gooch, meat cleaver, brocco, two times. There are so many names. Oh my god, there are so many names. Vinny, Romeo, Rook, silencer, hammer, knuckles, all. Oh. I gotta go Knuckles, even though I'm not a melee guy. I think I'm going Knuckles because I, I I'm a big Sonic fanboy. Bender, Snake Eyes, Wolf, Hatchet Man, Smiley, Fats, Pearl, Reno, Jimmy, Jade, Scarface, Diamond, Ace, One Eyed Jack. There are so many nicknames I can pick from. Iceman, Nikki, Sly, Slick, Charlie, Gracer. Opium, Dagger, Fixer, Angel Eyes, Shark, Hound, Reverend, Magnum, Iceberg, Gina, Vicky, Chase, Guillotine. Oh, that's a cool one. I like Guillotine. Sneed says Opium. 
If any subscribers are here in chat, you get first pick. Oh, Aaron says, there we go. Aaron picks Iceman. Insert username. Yeah, it's really cool that Amazon commissioned this game so quickly. They worked really, really fast. All right, we're going with Iceman. Visit the Cat's Paw, New Reno Arms, and tell them you're part of my family. They'll treat you well. Ooh, okay. A remaster of two would be cool. At least support to consoles, because if Baldur's Gate and Icewind Dale can get ported to consoles, Fallout 1 and 2 should be ported to consoles. I feel like it's not going to happen, but I think it should. Okay, what did he give me? He gave me some Leather Armor Mark II. Is this better than what I have? It is! My armor class went up. 30, let's see. Normal to two zero two zero zero three. Yep. Yep. This is better. I got an armor upgrade This is follow two Brody. Oh he, he gave me a grease gun It's it shoots 45 caliber Dang I feel like this gun's gonna be pretty good This is my first time, Nate. I'm really liking it a lot. Really, really liking it. Oh, this one is only four AP to shoot? So I can do I can do two burst shots with this. Hey Ice Gray, thank you. I can do two burst shots with this. Cause I maxed out my agility. I got ten AP. It takes specific ammo. Thanks for Which following. Which is 45 caliber, right? Do XSI. Do I have any 45? I think I have it in the trunk of the car. Or maybe I kept it on me. Yeah, it's probably in the trunk. Yeah, I've got three companions. I got Cassidy, Lenny, and uh, Vic. My girlfriend, Joseph? Are you talking about in-game? I don't, I don't have a girlfriend. If you mean my wife, she's asleep. In real life. <laughs> I know, I wish I could get dog meat. I've heard dog meat in this game. Let's go check the trunk of the car. I think I have some 45 caliber ammo in there. Yeah, I've heard people say the dog meat's in the game, but I haven't found him yet. That's five mil. Two, two, three. Needler, seven, six, two. I don't have any 45. Okay, I gotta go buy some. Wherever that gun store is at, I can't remember. I think it's up top. Definitely want to make sure I get some 45. What the heck? There we go. <laughs> hey, I embrace it, Joseph. That's fine with me. Iceman over here. <laughs> That's cool. They, they call out your nickname when you're walking by. So people really do, I guess they, they really know you in town now. That's pretty cool. I did encounter Harold in Fallout 1, Brody. That is a pretty good nickname. You picked a good one. Man, where's the gun store? It must be over here. Lenny is so slow. Guess that's what happens when you have a ghoul in your party. That's the pharmacy.
The pharmacy should, here we go. The pharmacy should give me permanent discounts because I took care of Salvatore. I have not met Marcus yet. Uh, my boss, Mordino, told me to stop by and that you would set me up. Sure, of course. Let me show you our special stock at a discount, of course. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I can get a minigun? Oh. A Bozar? There are so many guns here now, but he doesn't have ammo. A flamethrower? I'm gonna have to come back with all my loot so I can swap it for some of this stuff. Dang, man. I know all my trading drunk is in the trunk. <laughs> oh, man. That's okay. Maybe I'll do that off stream. That's kind of a tedious thing to go back and forth and swap and trade stuff. I'm going to be ending stream pretty soon anyway. Oh, does it just combine everything now? Oh, the 223 pistol. Isn't this the one I had in the first game? I think it is. Uh, can I just see what you have in stock normally? There we go. The Bozar. I need 45 ammo is what I need. He has, a, he has all the crap that I sold him. 223. 14. 45. Only 20 shots? Really? Only 20 shots? Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. Let me <clears throat> let me make a, a mental checklist Thanks here. For following, you're a legend. Vader Thank you, Vader. Side. Thank you, Vader. I need to go back to my car, get my stuff to to trade. I need to buy 45 ammo. I need to buy the Bozar gun. Um, if I have enough to trade for it, hopefully. Okay. Well, I think we're at a pretty good stopping point for tonight. I had a lot of a lot of activity here in New Reno. I'm probably gonna leave New Reno next stream. I don't know where I'm gonna go next. Um, areas that I've been already. Uh, Gecko. I guess I I started to go to Redding, but then I left. So maybe I'll go back to Thanks Redding. Thanks for following. You're a legend, Brody. Yeah, because I'm level ten now. Okay, so maybe I'll go to Reading next stream. It might be a good one. Cool. Well, thanks everyone for tuning in. Um, I'm probably going to be live again Thursday. I might come back tomorrow. I don't know for sure. When I do stream, it's always around 10 p.m. Pacific time. So roughly three hours before right now is when I usually a stream. Dot Ron says good night, everyone. Yeah, thank you everyone for tuning in. Um, subscribers get access to emotes if you want to show those off, Aaron. Um, also, text-to-speech functionality goes to subscribers, um, and you get to help me decide what you know what to play and decisions I make for streams and different interactions and stuff like that. I'm very active in DMs to subscribers. I'm sure anyone any one of them can uh, testament to that. Uh, yeah, thank you everyone for tuning in tonight. It was a great stream. I hate ending whenever the viewer count is up, you know, like close to 100, but I do need to get to bed. I got to start going to bed earlier. Um, so thanks everyone for tuning in tonight. I hope you had a great time and we'll be back again soon to, you know, play and chat about more Fallout. Thank you, David. Thank you, A.A. Ron. Thank you, Link Soul, Nate Gackman, everyone for tuning in. Elf, thank you for stopping by also. Thanks everybody. Hope you have a good night and I'll be back again soon.